Hello, this is Sky Moore. <laughs> this segment is on litigation. And the first thing I want to tell you is don't. When in doubt, don't litigate. And here's the reasons why not to litigate. One, it is unbelievably expensive. Just to get to the courtroom steps these days takes about $200,000 on an average case before you get through court. To get through court is at least another $300,000. So your average case to just try it is $500,000. That's a lot of money, right? So unbelievably expensive, unbelievably aggravating, all right? And, and I know that your claim is, you know, principles matter and it cost be damned, but I will tell you that, that Within two months after you start getting massive legal bills, you'll be rethinking this, and the aggravation is unbelievable. In particular, if you bring a lawsuit, I guarantee you what will happen. Ready? Within one week, you will be countersued. It's automatic, and you will be countersued for everything in the world, and they will throw the kitchen sink at you, and all the dirty laundry that you never wanted to come public will become public. And, in, and that's another problem with litigation, which is basically, go ask Bill Clinton, there is no such thing as privacy anymore. They can ask you every personal question and videotape you saying it, and it's not a fun event. For example, um, PBS sued Mickey Dolan for chump change for supposedly, he owed some money supposedly to PBS. He countersued in a week for, against PBS for fraud and ended up with a $40 million judgment against PBS. Right? So I guarantee you that they were sitting around going, hmm, that was a bad idea. As the lawyer, all right, there are always two sides to every story. You'll be sitting in your office getting out Kleenex and crying at your sob story of your client, and a week later you will get the counterclaim that says all the scumball things that they did. And it will be a horrific litany of evils that you'll go, oh my God, I can't believe my client did that. Everyone loses in litigation except the lawyers. Right? And, and even the lawyers can lose if they're on a contingent fee basis. So just uh, all I can tell you is avoid litigation like the plague. Oh, well, how about arbitration? Is arbitration better? No way. Arbitration is worse, and it's worse for a couple of reasons. One is very limited discovery in arbitration so that you don't have the ability to find out the real facts often of what happened. And the worst part of arbitration, which I have suffered through, is that when you're you could have a surefire, 100% good case. God is on your side. The angels are on your side. And there you are in front of the arbitrator, and they just ruled against you. And you go, what? And if you were in court, you'd be able to turn to your client and say, we'll appeal. But there is no appeal in arbitration. You lose, because arbitrators can do arbitrary things. Another issue to think about when you're drafting your contracts is, where are you going to sue? And many lawyers have a knee-jerk reaction where they say, we're going to sue here, wherever we are. We're in Los Angeles, or exclusive jurisdiction in Los Angeles. Even if you've got a defendant that is in Germany or is in Massachusetts. Well, so what happens when you bring your lawsuit in California and you spend four years here and you get your little judgment, but there's no assets here? And now you've got to go and start over again in the, in the local country or local jurisdiction. You'd be much better to have non-exclusive jurisdiction in Los Angeles, so you have the choice of suing where their assets are, and, and w whenever you have this option, that's how you should be drafting your contract. If you are in litigation, if you're bringing the claim, you're, the most powerful weapon you can get is an injunction, stopping the other side from doing whatever they're doing, or a prejudgment attachment, where you get the court to rule that you're likely to win, and they give you an attachment, and at that point, you've won, because you go at you go and, and put a lien on their bank accounts and that stops the party and then you're, you're, you're in good stead. These days, the settlement value for litigation is unfortunately $200,000. That's the number it takes to get to, even to get to court. I, we had a case where our client was, was charged by a third party with, among other things, leaving their body at night and having out-of-body sex with the plaintiff. All right, palpably absurd but that the claim got through summary judgment on other, on other things, and our settlement value became 200000 which is what we settled the case for. It's an unfortunate reality of litigation, so whenever you can avoid it, do. And so go back to rule one, don't litigate. Um, don't start it if you, if you can avoid it. 90% of the time, by the way, they end up in settlement anyway, so why not just save the fuss and muss and settle up front and, and get it over with, right? 
Sky Moore, this is a summary of litigation. Join me for the next segment.